I wasn't allowed to read them growing up, and my parents were like, we don't want you to become a witch. And I was like, <laughs> well, uh, it's faith. Um. We brought together seven Harry Potter fans. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Potter fan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? I think the best thing to do right now is say your house and your paternus. Oh, that's okay. a good idea. Yeah. Is that with you? Okay. Ravenclaw Otter. Okay, I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a Shrew. Hufflepuff and Sugar Glider. Ravenclaw Alchemy. Ravenclaw Red Squirrel. Hufflepuff <laughs> Otter. Gryffindor Otter. I think I was most suspicious of Rachel. Her and I were the only ones that kind of came on full customs. So I was expecting everybody would do it. So when nobody did, I was like, hmm. Who's read the books? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, cool. What's your favorite book? Third. Okay. Goblet of Fire. The first one? Yeah. I'd say the seventh. Prison Ragman. I'd say Order of the Phoenix. I'm half Blood Prince. So, oh, nice. okay. okay. I was really suspicious of Cameron. He wasn't wearing real Hufflepuff gear. He wasn't talking as much, so I thought he felt overwhelmed with the amount of material we were talking about. What's the spell that Hermione said in the second book when he, she fixed Harry's like glasses? Oculus Reparo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What book you said? Second book. Yeah. When they're at when second. they're at Diagon Alley. Oh, I know what you're getting at. It's not the second book. Yes, it is. It's yeah, she Diagon Alley. He was like, and I was like. Whoa, and I, so I got kind of like defensive. She's that's, being specific. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm um, Okay, good catch. Good catch. Um, for the two Ravenclaws, what are the actual Ravenclaw colors? Oh, um, blue bronze. Blue and bronze. When you have seven people, one minute is not enough. Everything was moving so fast, so it's hard to guess who else might it be. I was most suspicious of Cameron because he didn't talk at all. I would have voted myself out. I feel like I took one breath and then I was gone. When did you guys start reading Harry Potter? Yeah, that was So good. I read the first book the year it came out, so I was oh. in fifth grade. My mom read it to our, mm. our fifth grade class. I didn't read the books until seven years ago because I was born and raised in El Salvador, so over there it was just too expensive for me to get the books. With my first salary, I bought my first Harry Potter book, which was the first book. My sister was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I was like a little scared because I saw Voldemort and like, is this like a horror movie? Mm. In high school, I had a really, really big crush on this guy, <laughs> and he was a big Potterhead, and I just wanted to really impress him, so I started Aww. reading all the books, and I, I watched all the movies. Like if you're watching this, <laughs> turn the video off. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to read them growing up, mm -hmm. and my parents were like, we don't want you to become a witch. And I was like, <laughs> well, uh, it's fake. Uh, uh, Hufflepuffs. Yes. Who's your head of house? Uh, it's uh, uh, Professor Sprout. Question for the Ravenclaws. What is your true mascot? It's, a, it's oh. an oh. eagle. Oh. Um, for the Ravenclaws, who is our head of house? You mean the founder? I mean, founder founder is Rowena. Rowena. Now we need to question the, the Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone yeah, yeah. give me a question. All right, cool. What? was Ludo Bagman known for? Oh, he's the um, Quidditch announcer, right? At the um, World Cup. I was like, oh, is that the wrong answer? I asked a question about Ludo Bagman, who's a character in the books who didn't make it into the movies. I was trying to see if she had actually read the books versus just maybe watching the movies or maybe just trying to study up. My heart is pounding right now because like, <laughs> I feel like I read so much fan fiction that I'm like, <laughs> you read fan fiction? Yeah, I'm like, what's canon? I need to ask you about that. Oh, did you read Isolation? Yes, of oh, course. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yes. Isolation is a fan fiction about a budding romance between Draco and Hermione. Yeah, of course I read it. It's a classic. And I have a, a question for you. Yeah, uh, why you didn't bra besides your one any other like? Okay, oh. first of all, Harry Potter apparel is so expensive. I didn't wear any merchandise. It probably like gave a lot of people reason to suspect me. His shirt was comics related. <laughs> the mole will for sure have a one, but what about the rest of the clothes? What is your favorite scene from the books? Like something that it wasn't in the movie. Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. If everybody read the books, then they should be able to name a scene in the books that wasn't in the movies. Mine is when Dumbledore, uh, Voldemort died because in the movies he died as uh, like the, he, he yeah, the but in the books yes, he yes. died as a mortal man. Uh, Ron and Hermione become prefects and Malfoy does too and then mm -hmm. they're like 
walking through school and Hermione's like, Harry, don't go picking around with Malfoy. He's a prefect now, he can make life difficult for you. And he goes, wow, I wonder what it would be like to have a difficult life. Honestly, I think it had to be the Quidditch final in Prisoner of Azkaban, because there was that, that just wasn't included in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I really wish that they include like Peeves, the poltergeist, oh, throughout yeah. the whole like movies, like he wasn't there. Oh, do you guys like Snape? Snape fans? Yes. No. I hate I, Snape. He hurt Petunia. He literally got her hit with a branch, and that's when he like showed effect. There's like, nothing in any of the books, any of the movies, that shows like that he wasn't actually all about that life. In both in the books and and the movies, I feel like all along he has Dumbledore's support. I don't know what's. I don't like Dumbledore. <laughs> he's a manipulator. I don't like him. He's weird. Uzer was talking so much. He is probably only giving all the facts that he study and speaking more, so the rest don't get to talk. Oh, yeah. yeah, Dumbledore's a like, manipulator. He is literally, like, no, no, no. He's like, oh, wait, he's not a good one. You like Dumbledore? Yeah. Okay, like, good. I look at each character as if, like, they're people. And Dumbledore's background, exactly. like, with his thing with Grindelwald, so I feel like that makes him human at the same time. I can kind of relate to him. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This always gives me <laughs> We have a tie. The tie is between Kylie and Inzong. That means we're going to a tiebreaker. Each of you is going to get 20 seconds to state your case. I think like everyone here would know the quote um, at the end of the book when Peeves comes out into like the hall and says like, we did it, uh, we bashed them. We Potter's the one, moldy, it's gone moldy. Um, <laughs> Moldy's got moldy. I mean, I'm a late Potterhead, but I freaking love Harry Potter. I've been to like all the landmarks. I've been to Leadenhall Market. I've been to Black Park. I've been to the Elephant House, and I spent so much time there. Oh my god! And I've also been to Harry Potter World, obviously. I'm just a really big Harry Potter, and I'm super nervous, and I think that's why I'm like so quiet and I black out. But. Good luck, guys. Sorry. Sorry. This will be the favorite movie scene round. Each of you will get to tell the others what your favorite Harry Potter movie scene is and why. My favorite book, a movie is the third one, but my favorite scene is from the sixth one when Harry Potter, he drank Felix, like the lucky charm, and he's just walking and then like Professor Slughorn comes and he's like, Harry! And he's like, sir! When they are at the, uh like dinner hall and each is eating like in their house um, tables. He started slurring <laughs> with the girl that he wanted to go, I'm forgetting her name. Then he's like, I wanted water for this, I was staring into that bottle of water. So he goes like, and all the water like full <laughs> street because he's just so nervous because flooring with her. The first one, I just screwed it up. So I was like, okay, I have a backup. And I have another one. Harry gives Dobby the book with the sock and he mm -hmm. found this, he's like, oh, master, have give Dobby a sock. In Order of the Phoenix, the fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort is just crazy. Like, that's the only reason I really like the Harry Potter movies is because it gave me a way to actually see what I've been reading since I was 10. It's like a flashback of James Potter and him like, bullying uh, Snape and saying, oh, I'm taking down Snively's trousers. I think that's a very important scene to me because it shows that even though it's like something to look up to, there's like flaws in every character. Deathly Hallows when Hermione has to obliviate her parents. It's so sad. It's a very Gryffindor thing for her to do to protect her parents by obliviating them. She doesn't even know if she can get their memories back. The most suspicious person, I think, was uh, Grecia because she blanked out on a couple things. I'm not a Marvel. <laughs> I was really disappointed. I went in the whole effort to like come in a complete uniform. Maybe the mole felt like threatened, and that's why they got me out. <laughs> If you want to continue playing the game, please raise your hand in three, two, one. We'll vote one more time. In three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie mentioned her sister was a big Harry Potter fan. She could be wearing her sister's sweatshirt and using her sister's wand. I started doubting like Brian. He might be the least likely option, but that would be like the biggest gasp moment. I'll do one last vote <laughs> and that's it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. All right. I think we've never had a situation like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? We're magical.
one of you guys could be the moles because you guys wanted to end so you guys can get the money. There's no harm in just having another round, I think. I feel like we got the mole. All three of you guys have given some pretty like deep cuts. The level of material that we've been talking about, it's too intense that I think the mole wouldn't be able to spit out those facts so easily. I want to keep going because I'm just like a little bit suspicious and part of me is like, I need to like have it down to like <laughs> the last survivors. I don't know what to do anymore. Let's go for one last round of votes. If you want to continue playing, please raise your hand in three, two, one. Okay, that's fine. Better not be anything like that. I will crucio you. <laughs> so if the lights turn green, you guys win. If the lights turn red, the mole is still in the box and you lose. <laughs> oh my god. So when it turned green, I was like, all right, cool, we're good. I was like. I'm really glad that I made it to the end. I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm sorry, Kaylee. I voted you several times. It's I was, okay. I was kind of suspicious of you. Now I feel bad, obviously. I, I was suspicious of you because you like you know so much. I was like, odd man out's gonna psych me out. <laughs> Will the mole please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am a Hufflepuff. I took, the, I took the quiz, but my roommate is a huge Potterhead. I was traumatized by Voldemort's face when I was six in the first movie, <laughs> and that's why I just never went back. Considering that I've never actually read any of the Harry Potter books, and I only watched like two of the movies, I think I did a pretty good job. I am not into Harry Potter, and I never will be into Harry Potter. I can already hear the haters behind the screen. So you haven't read Isolation. I just studied about it. <laughs> that I feel really so good. betrayed. That you did study and the fact that you brought a sweater props to you. He didn't he didn't do it. It's so I was gonna say it's so expensive. I was gonna say that's better than this guy. I don't specifically think that you have to read the books to be a fan. If you do read the books, you are able to appreciate it more. I had immigrated to the United States at a young age. Harry Potter was like a place of solace for me or a refuge. I was able to be part of something, like bigger part of something that is like magical and like can take you away or distract you from like things that you're going through or like tough things. I think that's why it has like a special place in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Money.